Welcome to Vivid History, bring you vivid and fascinating historical stories through colorized photos. Before the American Revolution and his presidency, George Washington gained recognition through his diplomatic mission, his actions in the Seven Years' War, and other intriguing facts. Before he became president, George Washington played a crucial role in the Braddock Expedition and led rebel armies throughout the American Revolution, overcoming obstacles such as intrigues and treason to secure victory for the nation's bid for independence. At just 21 years old, George Washington's journey as a special envoy and his subsequent publication of The Journal of Major George Washington made him famous in both the colonies and Britain, setting the stage for his future leadership. Throughout his life, George Washington had an awkward relationship with his mother, Mary Ball Washington, who, despite raising him to become the father of his country, instilled in him a deep fear and endured moments of passive aggressiveness, such as asking for money from the Virginia House of Delegates during the Revolutionary War and remaining a vocal supporter of King George III, even as her son fought for independence. During the Revolutionary War, George Washington became his own spy master particularly focused on New York City, which played a significant role in the conflict after the initial months in Boston. The significance of New York City in the American Revolution cannot be overstated, as it served as the main British military base, headquarters, and administrative center, making it a key strategic point that George Washington recognized as crucial for gathering intelligence. Emmanuel Gottlieb Leutz's iconic painting, Washington Crossing the Delaware, captured the dramatic surprise attack on an enemy garrison in 1776, preventing the collapse of the Patriot War effort, even though the painting itself is historically inaccurate. Leutz's painting of Washington Crossing the Delaware contains historical inaccuracies, such as the depiction of the wrong flag and the fact that it was painted in Germany, far from the actual site of the event. Washington's crossing of the Delaware was not as picturesque as depicted in Leutz's painting. Instead, he and his men crossed in flat boats, packed with men, horses, and cannons, pulled by wires and pushed by men with poles, while the river was cluttered with ice sheets. George Washington's love for dogs was unparalleled among American presidents, as he owned dogs from various breeds and even maintained a pack of fox hunting hounds in a well-kept kennel. Despite being a great leader, George Washington was only a mediocre general, losing more battles than he won including the Battle of Germantown, where a British army led by Sir William Howe defeated him and his forces. However, after the loss, Washington's men discovered a well-kept terrier that belonged to Howe, but Washington refused to keep it, refusing to stoop so low as to keep another man's dog. George Washington resisted the temptation to keep Sir William Howe's dog and instead sent it back to him with a note, earning the respect and gratitude of the British commander. Realizing the need for better intelligence, Washington turned to civilian spies and appointed Major Benjamin Tallmadge as the military liaison, but the information provided by Nathaniel Sackett was inconsistent and insufficient, leading to his dismissal. George Washington was determined to have reliable intelligence during the Revolutionary War, and he established the Culper Ring, with Caleb Brewster and Abraham Woodhull as key spies, to gather and deliver accurate reports on British troop movements and naval activities. 
The true origins of the Stars and Stripes, America's national flag, remain uncertain, as the popular story of Betsy Ross sewing the first flag lacks contemporary evidence and only emerged a century later. There is no concrete evidence to support the claim that Betsy Ross was commissioned by George Washington or any congressional committee to sew the original Stars and Stripes flag. In November of 1775, Lord Dunmore, the governor of Virginia, issued a proclamation offering freedom to slaves who served the British, causing Washington to become furious. As a result, hundreds of slaves escaped their American owners and joined Washington's troops in Norfolk, increasing his manpower and reducing that available to rebellious colonists. However, the escaped slaves faced devastating diseases and epidemics in the camps, preventing Dunmore from raising the vast slave armies he had envisioned. Nonetheless, the survivors formed Dunmore's Ethiopian Regiment, which included one of Washington's own slaves. One of the slaves who escaped from George Washington was Harry Washington, who successfully evaded pursuit and joined the Ethiopian regiment behind British lines after running away from Mount Vernon in 1776. Harry Washington, a slave from Mount Vernon, risked his life to escape slavery and joined the Ethiopian regiment, surviving diseases in combat before sailing to New York and serving as a corporal in the Black Pioneers during the British invasion of South Carolina. Eventually settling in Sierra Leone and participating in a rebellion against British rule. Robert Townsend, known as Samuel Culper Jr., was George Washington's most important spy and played a crucial role in the Culper Ring, providing invaluable information about British movements and fortifications in New York City during the war. George Washington emphasized the utmost caution and secrecy in his spy work, entrusting only specific individuals with the transmission and receipt of crucial intelligence, such as Robert Townsend, who used invisible ink to write reports that were delivered through a network of spies before reaching Washington. One of the most fascinating aspects of George Washington's presidency was the role played by the Culper Ring, a group of spies who uncovered crucial information during the American Revolution. Through their efforts, the plot to betray West Point to the British was discovered, leading to the arrest of John Andre and the escape of Benedict Arnold. Additionally, the Culper Ring provided Washington with information about the British plans to intercept the French fleet in Rhode Island, allowing him to mislead the British and ensure the safe landing of French troops, ultimately leading to the Allied victory in the war. The escaped slaves who had fought for the British faced a devastating blow when the British army surrendered at Yorktown, as their hopes for freedom were shattered due to a clause added by American negotiators, including George Washington, in the Treaty of Paris. George Washington was filled with anger when the British refused to return escaped slaves, causing tension and the possibility of renewed hostilities, until the British ultimately resolved the issue by providing certificates of freedom to the slaves. According to some sources, even after his death, George Washington's presence was felt at Mount Vernon, with members of the Mount Vernon Ladies Association claiming to have encountered his ghost while sleeping in the bed where he died. Josiah Quincy III, a prominent figure in Massachusetts during the early 19th century, had the opportunity to stay overnight in George Washington's bedroom at Mount Vernon, where he hoped to encounter the ghost of the revered president, and according to his son, he was not disappointed. 